Hello friends and uh, welcome to this uh, short tutorial on how to do a bracket order on the Thinkorswim mobile app. We're going to be doing this on an iPhone. I believe it is the same on an Android phone, uh, but uh, we're going to see how we can place an OCO or otherwise known as a bracket order on the Thinkorswim platform on the mobile app. So first thing I'm going to do is uh, obviously share my screen on the mobile device. Let me go ahead and do that. Great. So I am now sharing my iPhone screen. Uh, notice that I have a group of icons here and one of them is the Thinkorswim platform. So you want to click on that one and log in. In my case, I have got the face ID uh, already enabled, so I'm able to log in just with my face. Uh, on other mobile applications, you may be able to, or mobile devices, you may be able to log in automatically with uh, a thumbprint or just enter your username and password. The index that I am most interested in here is the SPX. Uh, on Thinkorswim, it is just plain SPX. On other platforms, uh, that may vary. And I am wanting to enter an OCO order. What I'm looking at here is the S&P 500 index, currently trading at 43.19. And I'm going to demonstrate how to do a call credit spread with an OCO bracket. This is uh, one of the more commonly requested features and uh, how to's uh, basically uh, frequently asked questions. Okay, first thing I'm going to do is make sure that I am looking at this spread. I'm going to switch that from single to vertical. And uh, notice now that my display has changed. I now see strikes with a five point wide spread and I'm looking at about 10, 10 strikes. You can adjust the view here to show anywhere from two to 50 or all the strikes available. Uh, 10 is good enough for me. So we're going to look in the side for calls to look for a call credit spread. Okay, so I'm going to just uh, scroll down a little bit over here. I noticed that the 4340, 4345 is looking really good to me right now and I'm going to press the 35 cents on the call column. It looks like I can actually get 50 cents on this one according to Thingoswim. Uh, I like that. So I'm going to adjust my quantity size. Your mileage may vary here. I'm going to sell 10 of them. And uh, 10 translates to 10 call credit spreads. Each spread requires about $500 of uh, buying power. So you can adjust uh, your size here. You can also adjust you know, whether you want to go a little higher. Maybe you want to get 60 cents, give or take. Uh, let's, let's try and go for 60 cents. And that's the reason we're doing that. And it's because we're going to buy this back for about 10 cents. So let's go for 60 cents uh, premium per contract. That means we're going to receive $600 on this contract. And normally you would just review and send the order. However, since we want to do an OCO bracket, we're going to scroll down a little bit on this order and create advanced order, right? Immediately you are now presented with another screen here that says first triggers OCO. You notice right there, that's what that bracket order is. This is an advanced order. We're still selling 10 for 60 cents or $600 credit on this one. Uh, I am now going to press on the add order and it automatically queues up one for me over here for my tick profit order. I love that. So notice that it is going to try and uh, buy back my order here for 10 cents, which is exactly what I like. I want to sell for 60 cents, buy it back for, for 10 cents and thereby making about 50 cents. But I'm not done yet, all right? I'm going to uh, go back to the group by click by touching the top left over there that says group. And I'm going to add to this odd order here. And it gives me another buy order for 10 cents, but this time I don't want it to 
buy at 10 cents. This is my risk management order. And so I want to put in what I want to risk here. Since I am buying, sorry, since I'm selling this for 60 cents, then I am just going to do two times uh, that credit, which is going to be about $1.20. keep going I could have easily have just typed over these and instead of tapping so many times but you know that's uh, didn't take very long so a dollar 20 let me explain why that why did I choose a dollar 20 and not anything else uh, my thesis here is that if my spread is going the way that I would like it to there's a chance that it could fluctuate up and down but if it fluctuates all the way to one dollar i'm not going to get kicked out but if it does fluctuate to a dollar 20 it means that at that point i will have lost about 1200 dollars. but in fact i received credit of 600 so really this is a 1x loss right this is a 1x loss so I'm comfortable losing $1,200 on this one because I received 600 and so my net loss will actually be just the six, will, will just be 600. Okay, I review this order. Because this is an index, I am only interested in uh, a day for the time in force. I'm not going to change anything else. Everything looks good. I'm going to go back to my group. I've got my entry order over there. I've got my take profit order right there and my risk management order right there. Go ahead and review how this looks like. You notice that Think or Swim will lay it out very nicely for you. I am selling 10 verticals. These are called credit spreads uh, at 60 cents right there. And I've, my order number two is my buyback order, which is going to be for 10 cents, meaning that I will make 50 cents after everything is said and done. And if this order executes, then this one is going to be canceled. That's what the OCO stands for, by the way. Order cancels order or, yeah, something like that. And then obviously my order number three is my risk management or my, or my stop loss. So if I am losing and this spread is not going so well, then Think or Swim is going to take me out at about $1.20 per, uh, per contract, okay? Uh, Break-even prices uh, says here NA. Uh, my maximum profit on this one is 600. My maximum loss obviously is 4,400, which basically means that each spread, the width of the spread minus the premium received is what my maximum loss is going to be. So on one particular spread, the width is 500. I am receiving 60 cents, right? So my maximum loss on that one is, uh, is 40 cents, right? Uh, 40 cents times 100, obviously 400. So I could potentially lose about that much uh, from this trade. But the payout is $600 if everything goes according to plan. And once I buy back the order, remove $100, I'll be left with about $500, right? And then I review everything and hit send. There we go. My order is now in queue. It is now working, right? So three orders were sent on that account and I can now go comfortably about my day and just wait for it to happen. That, my friends, is how you do an OCO order on Thinkorswim mobile platform. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.